Hello Vashal here and welcome back to the 240 gallon slash 1000 litre aquarium build series. So far on the series I set up my 240 gallon aquarium, its filtration and proceeded to go into the forest to gain some inspiration on how to escape this massive tank because well that's what you do when you spend over $1,000 on a really big aquarium and try to make it a really natural aquarium. It's been a crazy few weeks but today we are finally going to be escaping this massive tank and this video is going to be part 1 of 3 videos because that's what it takes to escape this tank. I simply don't have the time to finish it all in one video so let's begin. So let's talk about the hardscape and the materials used first. I mainly used driftwood and wood mainly because well that's naturalistic and easy to find. However it took a lot of time to find this time mainly because covid and all the delays it caused. I found a wholesaler named Pets Life World uh, who is sponsoring this video by giving me a 10% discount. I'll leave his number in the description. I ended up buying two big pieces of driftwood from him and many more smaller pieces to kind of well attach together to make a really big piece. More on that later in the video. I also ended up buying a lot of Siriu stone from him simply because it was cheap and it's my favorite kind of rock. I got around 25 kgs and I used around 20 kgs which might seem a little less for a tank this size especially if you see all the really professional looking aquascapes but well this is simply what I found natural and what works for me. I also collected few things from the wild making sure it was sustainably taken from nature. I mainly took some sand which is used commonly in making cement in construction. I washed it thoroughly and got a really nice looking sand for really cheap. Similar to ADS Colorado sand but again really cheap. I also mixed a bit of Dua Aqua Gravel to make it a bit more texturous if that's a word. So now let's get into actually aquascaping this massive aquarium. The driftwood I'm using actually has a curing time which just means that it develops this bacteria on it and it also floats under water. To get around it I usually just boil my driftwood in a pot. However since these driftwood pieces were so massive I had to put them in a tub filled with hot water so well all the air bubbles will get out they still develop a bacterial film however it just went away on its own i meanwhile i added the sand into the aquarium the sand at first made the aquarium really cloudy and muddy but eventually the sand settled after doing a lot of water changes i then started adding the driftwood and rocks to the aquarium my number one tip for people trying to aquascape aquariums based on my experience anyway is just don't think about it too much and just put rocks in a natural way inside the aquarium. My guidelines are that the fish should have a lot of hiding spots. This makes the fish act natural and really well and this should look really pleasing for you. I did experiment with the driftwood and rocks out of the aquarium for a couple of minutes but that didn't really help a lot since that just confused me and I ended up sticking to the aquarium aquascape I did inside the tank. The whole aquascape took around 6 hours to complete. It took a long time but in the end it was worth it. I kept fiddling around with the rocks even after the aquascape was technically done to just make some small improvements in the next few weeks. To top everything off, I put some Tropica root tabs to fertilize the sand substrate. There are a lot of DIY options for this such as using Osmocoat Plus which is a DIY plant fertilizer. However, this is just the most easiest to find in my area so I ended up using this. I'm still not sure if I'm going to plant the sand since 
well my turtle keeps eating everything up and it's pretty hard and i only found success a few times but it's always well good to have the option what you're looking at right now is how the tank looks currently i did add some java fern and some bobites to make the tank look a bit more planted but of course it can get a lot more planted once i actually get the work done eventually once i find the time so far i completed the aquatic section and i think it looks great i am trying to fertilize the plants via tropica fertilizer since they are pretty cheap and i also am planning to finish the land section if you haven't forgotten in the first video on the series i installed a overtop basking area for my turtle so technically this is a planted area the above tank part is completely well bare currently and that's the next part of the aquascaping series aquascaping the land portion and that's something i really look forward for for now just enjoy the tank i hope you liked today's video if you did like share and subscribe it really helps a lot and it's completely free and here you go with some b-roll footage of the aquarium